Hey what's up guys, my name is Charlie, today we're going to be watching some more bonus content and it's going to be the Angry Video Game Nerd Festus Quest commentary. Oh boy, I like these commentary, I believe we uh, had a commentary on um, Board James, I believe the episode, where he talked about his episodes and making Dream Phone, you know, all the, all the Board James episodes I believe, uh, well, I think it was just the Dream Phone one, I can't remember which one it was, Mr. Bucket or something, uh, but I remember him talking about it, it was very interesting, very fascinating to learn all the facts behind the video, so hopefully this will be the same, uh, so yeah, let's check out the video, shall we? Let's go. Fester's Quest. Yeah, so I thought I had room for one more commentary, I guess. Mm. And uh, I guess I'll just do this one by myself. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, this one holds a lot of value to me because it's not just a critique of a game that I remember from my childhood, but it's also a tribute to the uh, Adams Family. Uh, the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> the Adams Family. Makes as much sense when I first started now. doing uh, the Angry Nerd, um, about the time when I did the Karate Kid video, oh god, damn. I was uh, I had a list of games that I was ready to review, <laughs> and among them were Karate Champ, Karate Champ, Ghostbusters, <laughs> Ghostbusters. Jaws, <laughs> Super no. Pitfall, Super Fester's Pitfall. Quest, and Fester's Akari Quest. Warriors. Akari Warriors. And <laughs> some of them I've done uh, uh, <laughs> as of now, and some of them I haven't yet, mm. but. Uh, Fester's Quest was one from the <laughs> beginning that I always wanted to do because it was a game that I just couldn't get very far in. Yeah, I think I everyone had the same problem. I never actually owned the game uh, back then, at least, but I uh, rented it. Rented it, oh my god, time. yeah. Crazy to think, you know, back when you could rent uh, Nintendo games from yeah. the store. I used to rent Fester's Quest. It was just one of those games that, you know, you'd play once or twice and, <laughs> you know, you'd just be like, fuck this, and then that was it. It's kind of a bad game in disguise because it actually flows like a good game. You know, you walk around, you shoot things, you collect items. You'd you know, think it's, it's a good game. Like a regular <laughs> game. The music is pretty awesome. Mm, and uh, music's all right. it just feels like it should be a good game. It's based off the Adams Family and, you know, but it's not. It's just bad. <laughs> I don't know. It's also a lot like Blaster Master. Blaster Master. And, uh... That's full light. I'm not kidding. Some light. Yeah, it's. I don't know. You just think it's gonna be good, but it's not. Yeah, it's a bad game. Remember simply the commercial. <laughs> Fester's Quest is one tough yeah. video Deal game. Deal with those green blobs again. God damn! This game better stop sucking ass. <laughs> the makeup was you. terrible on this because um. Middle finger. <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I w I was using water-based makeup water -based because makeup. Uh, I had to switch out of costumes really quick. Uh, I mean, I was playing, like, I was acting as the entire Adams family. Yeah, so. you gotta do it quick. This is one of my favorite parts <laughs> right here. This is an old uh, Lionel uh, train set. What's it matter about makeup in black and white? Asked, it's all in black and white. So what's it matter like, about really makeup? Smoking. Uh, yes, I am. Um, wow. I don't smoke, usually. And, uh, yeah, so for a video, that's what I had to do. Damn. So, yeah, I'm smoking for the video. Wow. I don't smoke <laughs> in real life, if that answers your question. Mm. What a lot of people don't ask, though, is that a real mustache? <laughs> and uh, nobody's ever really thought about that, I guess. You go with that a mustache? Yes, it is a real mustache. <laughs> I, I remember that SpongeBob scene yeah. in the movie. <laughs> this Which is a mustache. Really complicated to grow the mustache out. <laughs> Because I had to act as all the other characters, so I had to I love know for the a movie. fact that I was done <laughs> with all Gomez's awesome. scenes. Because uh, once I shaved the mustache, you know I couldn't just grow it back. So, yeah. So uh, you know, th this was kind of just a surprise. This one I got as a donation, the uh, Adams Family game on Sega Genesis. So I decided, you know, I haven't done a Sega Genesis game in a while. You know, I might as well do this one. Mm, Making a little, well. you know, double feature Adam's Family. <laughs> I was even thinking to get some of the other games like Pugsley Scavenger Hunt and all oh, that. God. But, you know, it just, it was too much. It's crappy. Oh and my it's God, crappy. Kyle. <laughs> That's Kyle. Yep, he's yep. cousin it. I'd rather eat my dookie. It makes and, uh, some yeah, I, I really just thought this idea at the last minute. I was like, you know what? Wouldn't it be funny if I just dressed up as the entire Adam's Family? Uh, when I did this, I had to 
do Gomez first, then shave the mustache and come back and then be all the other characters. It was really complicated to do, and mm. this was one of the hardest nerd videos to do. <laughs> but uh, as a result, it's it's up there. It's one of my favorites, I think. Wow, that's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I saw the different sort of makeups. I, I, I thought it was just like when he talked about makeup, uh, I was thinking just like white makeup on the face and that's it, done. But yeah, because uh, it's all in black and white, so you can't really, you know, see red blood, um, you know, when it's all in black and white. But, you know, um, you, you know, when you're Frankenstein or you got a bit of red blood on the cheek, you know, it does it does stand out. Even though you can't see the color, you can sort of know it's supposed to be red, you know, I don't know. It's, hey, I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was a very good video. Um, I mean, I mean, Festa's Quest was a very difficult game. Um, and it was back then when you could rent games. Oh boy. Um, yeah, renting games back then. Um, that's, uh, that's shocking. I remember blockbusters and you can rent, uh, games and stuff like that. But everything's no longer like that anymore. Um, uh, everything's digitalized, you know, it's all digital. You know, it's, you don't actually buy physical games anymore. Well, you can, you know, but, um, you know, everyone goes for digital games now these days. Um, I, I recommend buying physical games over digital games, but, you know, um, I, I mean, buying a physical game is totally awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, having a physical copy. But, uh, yeah, I've got, like, a, dig uh, like a digital collection uh, myself. Uh, it's just not quite the same, you know. Physical is always awesome. Uh, but, unfortunately, digital, um, even if you have a lot of games, it's, it's something missing. You know, it's not as cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, physical... Totally. If you want to get physically, you know, physical copies and all that, go for it. You know, if you want to start your own game collection, um, but uh, leave Festus Quest, that game, out of your collection. Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, and make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>